Oh, I'm so hungry. Hello, son. I need to go eat. I can feel my blood sugar dropping. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Everybody, CR Media Gal here. Welcome back to my channel. Before I even jump in to today's video, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to, I know there was one comment on my last video, which was my Christmas bedroom tour, but the video before that, which was decorating my little Harry Potter tree over here out of sight, a lot of you had expressed condolences for me recently having lost my senior German Shepherd Ace. I just wanted to say that I really appreciate all the kind, thoughtful uh, words that people have left, both here on my YouTube channel, but also on my other social medias. It really does mean a lot to me. I know a lot of you understood how much he meant to me. So I just appreciate how supportive and understanding everybody has been. This is my first time being on camera um, since losing him about a month ago. It feels a little bit strange. I'm still not quite in the mindset for YouTube, but like there's a lot of holiday videos I wanted to try to crank out over the next couple weeks. I'm not sure how many of them ultimately I'm gonna get to, but uh, yeah, I think it would be good for me to get back into the swing of things creatively. So thank you again for being patient with me and for your support, it means a lot. But getting back to today's video, I have a new CR's Closet recreates for you. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Andrea, also known as CR Media Gal in the fandom and fanfiction world. This particular series that I'm doing is relatively new. I've only done it twice before now. I will leave links to the other two down below in the description box for you if you're curious to go back and watch them. Basically, I take inspiration photos from Pinterest and try to recreate them using only items that I have in my closet. A lot of people call these a, you know, shopping your closet type of video. It's basically that. I just put my little spin on it by calling it CR's Closet Recreates. So if you're interested in watching more videos like this, be sure to click the subscribe button down below. Also, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you would. I'd really appreciate it. it supports my tiny channel and all the content I'm trying to make. And be sure to go and follow me on my other social medias, particularly my Instagram. I post a lot of fashion related content over there as well. But yeah, today's CR's Closet Recreates are holiday inspired. As a reminder, I'm only working with what I have in my closet. So it does require a lot of finagling. A lot of it I had to make up myself because I don't have a lot of these items in my closet. So if you're curious to see what I came up with, then keep on watching. Please excuse the lighting. It keeps going in and out. And I apologize. I'm just trying to work with it. Let's get started. So the first holiday outfit I have is a sort of business inspired holiday outfit. I would imagine wearing out to a business party or maybe even a holiday date night. It's very smart looking, which is why I was really, really drawn to it. For starters, one of the big fashion themes I'm seeing for the holidays is velvet, which makes me so excited because I have a ton of velvet in my closet. That being said, I really don't have velvet pants in my closet, particularly bell bottoms. I know that trend is back as well, and I gotta tell you, I'm not feeling it. Or wide leg pant. I've given it a try. It doesn't look right on me. I do have a pair of burgundy velvet leggings that I am actually currently trying to sell in my Poshmark closet. The link to my Poshmark is always below if you're interested in shopping any of the items that you will sometimes see in my videos. They're gorgeous. So I started with those because I had the same color palette as the leggings that she is wearing. They're just not bell bottoms. And those are from Mod Cloth. And she's got this boyfriend style gray blazer, which I love. I've been on the hunt for a couple different color blazers. So I had to get creative here and I decided to use another rich tone color navy. I have a gorgeous corduroy blazer that I bought from Collective. I actually did a Collective first impressions 
on this channel. If you want to go back and watch that, I will leave a card up here somewhere for you. I love this blazer and I feel like I don't get to wear it enough. I feel like for the holidays, it works perfectly. Then she's also wearing like a light blue, or it might even be gray top underneath and sticking with the navy theme, I used a casual, really soft top that I have from Target. I've had it for a number of years. It kind of has that heathered look to it. She's wearing what looks like a statement long necklace. I um, recently purchased this star gold necklace that I never take off, but for the sake of sticking with something similar to what she's wearing, I also added in this really pretty gold necklace with some pearls on it that was my grandmother's. So that was a hand-me-down. Love getting to wear that when I can. I think it works really nicely. I also added a ring that has that um, sort of maroon burgundy color in it. I actually bought this from Portobello Market in London when I was there a number of years ago. Added a pair of navy shoes. They're um, comfortable platforms from Anne Klein. They've seen better days but they work alongside the blazer and the top. She also has a black chunky purse. It almost looks like a backpack to me. I do have a backpack, one that could have worked for this, but it's white. To keep it darker theme, just like hers, I opted for the only other large purse that I have, and it's a black one that I use for work. I got it from TJ Maxx. And I know you're really not supposed to mix blue and black, but for the sake of the video and for the sake of recreating this look, that was the closest thing that I had. I added in a pair of prescription sunglasses from Firmu. If you're interested in trying out Firmu, I have a couple of prescription glasses that I've bought from them. I was always very leery about buying glasses online because I have such a high prescription, but I've had such uh, good luck with Firmu. I do have a discount that you might be able to use as well. I will leave that down in the description box for you as well. But yeah, that completes this first business style holiday look. This next holiday look I'm calling Chic Christmas because of all of the really sophisticated looking pieces that she threw together. I love that beautiful burgundy A-line skirt. It looks like it's textured as well. I don't have anything like that, so I had to switch up the color palette for this. So instead of using a red A-line skirt, I have a beautiful green corduroy run that I got from ModPod, but the actual brand is Hell Bunny. Highly recommend them. They make some really wonderful retro inspired pieces. And then it looks like under her fur, I guess short sleeved coat, that's what I would call it. It looks like she's wearing something that's lace. Might be a lace turtleneck or a lace blouse. I don't have anything like that in my wardrobe. So again, sticking with what I have, I changed it up a bit and I used this really pretty black and white striped blouse that I got from Unique Vintage this year. I think it pairs well with the green and I love the cuff buttons on it. What made me think of using that was because it looks like the coat that she's wearing has those really pretty gold detail buttons going up the wrist. So I thought that that would be a really classy addition to this outfit. And then I do have something very similar to the short sleeve jacket that she's wearing. Mine is this really pretty black faux fur piece that I've had for a number of years. And unfortunately, I don't know the brand. I got it from a local boutique. So if you're on the hunt for really unique statement pieces like that, definitely check out your local boutiques if you have any, because that's really the place I find I have the most luck finding stuff like this. And then it looks like she's wearing a silver bracelet. I had two in mind to wear for these and they again are from a local boutique. I tried both of them and the one chain one actually wouldn't fit over the blouse. So I ended up not using that one and just using the snap on one. Also because she kind of plays on patterns with the fur and the lace, the textured skirt. 
I decided to throw in a pair of polka dot tights. I bought these from ModCloth several months ago. The brand is Gypsy and I'm on the hunt for a second pair because I love them so much. And I'm worried that because I wear them so often that they're, um, they're gonna rip. So far they've lasted very well. So I added in the polka dots because I thought that would um, play off of the stripes and the corduroy. And then lastly, I threw in my Firmu prescription sunglasses again and that completed this fun, chic look. third holiday look is really out of my comfort zone. Talk about a play on patterns. And this just screams Urban Outfitters. I would not be shocked at all if this picture is directly from their website. As you can see, she has this really kitschy Christmas cardigan. But underneath that, she's got what looks like a velvet dress on. I don't have a velvet dress, so I kept it pretty tame with what I wore underneath. To start with, I used this black tank top that I think I, it just came from Target. And then I used a matching black mini skirt that I have also had forever. And I'm actually on the hunt for a replacement because as you can see, it's looking a little um, worn out. <laughs> But the brand of that is, I'm probably saying it wrong, Double Ju. And then for the cardigan, I have a thrifted holiday cardigan from Pendleton. And it is one of my favorite thrifted pieces that I own. I just love the knitting, all the pretty colors, and the fact that there's florals in there, but there's also a bit of plaid design going on. It's so fun. Then she's also wearing a pair of white socks. So sticking with the red, the cardigan, I added these socks that I've actually had forever. They're from New York and Company, I believe, but you can get this kind of design of sock anywhere. I kept the mod cloth polka dot tights as well for this look because I didn't have like the velvet to work with underneath. I thought to do the still neon patterns a bit, I added that to the mix. So there's a lot going on. Like I said, not something I would normally gravitate toward. And then she's looks like she's wearing a pair of Doc Martens. I've been on the hunt forever for a secondhand pair that's already worn in. First off, I can't afford Doc Martens, but secondly, unless they're worn in, <laughs> Uh, th they are so tough to wear and I already have enough health problems and foot issues as it is that <laughs> I don't have a pair. So I opted for my black high top Converse's and I think they work just fine. Lastly, I added a red headband to the mix. That is also from Mod Cloth, and I actually showed it in my last Mod Cloth haul. If you want to go back and watch that, I will leave a link down in the description and a card up here for you. And that completes this very much urban outfitters, playful inspired Christmas look. This fourth holiday look I'm calling casual glam. It's all about that glittery sweater. I'm seeing that from so many retailers this year. The only sweater that I really have in my wardrobe that would fit for this look was one that I purchased from Express when I showed it in my Express haul. It's a gorgeous terracotta colored, very fallish drop shoulder sweater. So sticking with the terracotta uh, color palette, I also added in these wonderful leggings that I bought from ASOS. Or is it ASOS? You know what I'm talking about. But the brand is actually Nike. If I can still link them below for you, I will. And I think the two colors, they, they match very, very well. Then she's also wearing a statement pair of heels. If you've been on this channel for any length of time, you know I can't wear heels. Not only am I a total klutz and can't walk in heels, but also because of my foot issues. 
too risky. So instead I opted for this chunky pair that I thrifted a number of months ago from Madewell. They've got a cute little black bow tie detailing. I think the black and the terracotta elevates it and makes it very classy rather than just completely casual. Lastly, from the photo, it looks like she's wearing a pair of dangly silver earrings. Because of the color palette that I was working with, I opted for a pair of gold earrings that I have. They are from Francesca's collection. Francesca's, by the way, is a great place to find a lot of fun costume jewelry. And I love this. I might actually consider wearing this on Christmas Day. Christmas, we'll take that plain old green tree, color it beautifully like a makeover. Oh, Christmas, the word that's out on the street is that the season's complete when hearts are open. Everyone out there deserves a little bit of love, tenderness. Lastly is a very traditional style holiday outfit, mainly because of the plaid scarf. But I love this look. This is definitely up right up my alley. It's timeless and classy. To start with, she's wearing a pair of skinny denim jeans. And I have a very similar pair that are in the same denim hue from Express. So I started with those. Then I know those puffy sweaters with the little like 3D polka dots on them are like all the rage right now. I don't own one. I used another one that I have from Express that I actually thrifted. I like this sweater. I just struggle a lot of the time with the collar. It feels kind of clownish to me and I feel like it looks a little clownish on me. I figured with scarf wrapped around my neck that that would take care of that problem. The scarf that I have is very much like this beautiful plaid one that she's wearing. And I actually got this gifted like two Christmases ago and it was on my Christmas wish list. And I'm pretty sure that it was from Amazon. If I can link it below, I will. Then I added in some beautiful white teardrop earrings. They kind of remind me of falling snow. I think they're from a local boutique of mine that is not around anymore. So I'm not sure of the brand. Always wear these around the holidays. She also has a black purse, which I neglected to add to this outfit, but no biggie. I would have just added probably my Steve Madden small black clutch. And then lastly, she's wearing a pair of red heels. I'm sure you know what's coming. I can't wear heels, but I do have a pair of red flats that I love to wear. I get questions about these all the time, particularly over on my Instagram whenever I wear them for an outfit. They're from Amazon. I believe they come in a number of different colors. And that completes this final fifth holiday look. The word that's out on the street is that the season's complete when hearts are open. Everyone out there deserves a little bit of love, tenderness and smiles so sincere. Now's the time to reach out and to brighten someone's day. The magic of So that was my holiday themed plus size outfits for CR's Closet Recreate. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below and let me know if you're enjoying these type of videos. This is only the third one I've done and I do find them a lot of fun to do, but it's hard to tell anymore what videos of mine like get traction and which ones don't. It seems to be very, very random. I like to continue doing these, but if people aren't enjoying them, then I have to figure something else out. Thank you for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing if you would like to see more content from me. Be sure to go and follow me on my other social medias if you haven't already, particularly my Instagram. Come say hi to me there. And also be sure to give this video a thumbs up before you go. I'd really appreciate it. I hope you're all doing well wherever you are, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye. I'm so hungry. I am so hungry. Um, oh, I am sweating from Pinton Trip. Son, make up your mind. What are you doing? Around your phone.